welcome to the Crazy Hat Chemist. So here we go again today, another awesome video on electrons and atoms. Second to the end, BAM! So electron configurations, orbital box diagram, quantum number, valence electrons, all that kind of stuff for PB82. Lead 82. That's right. So you're going to pull out your periodic table. You're going to find lead. Where is it? It's over there somewhere. It's kind of off the chart here for me, literally speaking. Okay, so it's lead 82. So you're going to write out the electron configuration for lead, and then you're also going to write an orbital box diagram for lead. You're going to use the noble gas notation. So pause, start it up again, give it a try yourself. Okay, there's lead 82. That's Z of 82. That is... Uh, 82 protons, and of course, 82 electrons, and we're talking about electrons. So, noble gas notation, xenon, 6s2, 5d10, 4f14, 6p2. Now, can you write that in order of filling? That is in the interior shells first, then exterior shells. Here's a way to write it in order of filling here. Right there with the 4f14 first, then the 5d, then the 6s, and it's 6s2, and then the 6p2. Hopefully that makes sense. Both of these are using the noble gas notation. The second one is writing it in the order of the energy filling. So it's up to you. Talk to your professor. Talk to your instructor which one they want. Either one is fine with me. All right, now we're going to do the orbital box diagram of this same thing here. Say, look at all those boxes. We're going to do an orbital box diagram. This is going to be so much fun. I can't wait. So we're going to put this in order here. So that is up, down. You got that? Okay, now it's an up. For the 5d1 then the next one is what there it is that is correct so it's an up there and then we're going to half fill all these here right there like that so that they are parallel spins all half filled now we're going to back fill them until they are all completely filled and then we're going to come back to the 5d again and put them in order as is necessary again half filled still same parallel spin then if I have more, of which I do because it's 5D10, I'm going to backfill it and start off here just like such. So then now that, that is all filled out. Now I'm going to finish it up with the six P's, and I've only got two in there. So it's up and up, and then I am done with that. Okay, that is a long and tedious one, but it definitely works for lead. Okay, lead is paramagnetic. It is attracted to a magnetic field. Why? There are two unpaired electrons in lead. Okay, see the four valence electrons in lead, it's the 6s2 and the 6p2. If you look at the um, electron configuration using the energy filling model, you see that the 6s2 and the 6p2 are right next together. You circle the 6s, you circle the s and the p, and you got the 2 that you're going to add them up, and that's 4. So you should also be able to verify that using your periodic table. And looking at your periodic table, you should also be able to get the 4, because it's in group 4 over there, or 14 on your periodic table. Okay? I'm going to circle this electron. I want you to pause the video, write up the set of four quantum numbers. That's N, L, M sub L, M sub S for that electron right there. It happens to be the last electron in lead. So you could, if you wanted to, just use your periodic table and the location of lead and what we have labeled the periodic table as to get that um, set of four quantum numbers since it's the last electron in lead. So, let's see if you could do that. Pause it. Restart it. Here we are. Restarted. That's N of 6, L of 1, M sub L of 0, and M sub, F, M sub S as plus 1 half. So, let's figure out what those are. It's in a 6P. So, it's an N of 6, because it's 6. It's in a P-type orbital, and the P-type orbitals are L of 1. Okay? It's in the middle box, which is 0. If you look at the, quote, number line, that's an M sub L of 0. That's really the orientation in 3D space, right? It's not a number line. Okay. Then the up uh, arrow is going to heaven. That is positive one half. Okay. That should be pretty cool. Okay. This is a concept for the future. We're not going to discuss it on this lecture, actually not on this unit, but I want you to think about this. Okay. A concept is to write electron configurations and orbital box diagrams for ions. This explains why atoms form certain ion charges. Okay, so I want you to look at lead, and I don't know if you know this, but if you don't know this yet, lead has two different charges of lead ion. That is, since lead is a metal, um, lead will lose electrons. And it will lose either two or four electrons. So it will lose two electrons, and then it will have a completely filled shells, if you see there, because the six Ps will be gone. 
Okay. Also, if it loses four, and then it will have the two, the six P's gone and the six S is gone, and it will be completely filled. And this is why lead is so stable in an ion state of a plus two and a plus four. So these orbital box diagrams and electron configurations go well beyond this here. Hold on, I'm not done yet. You gotta check out this new hairdo I got here. So check out this new hairdo. It's a fun you. Yeah! Everybody has the devil inside, the devil inside. If you like that video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. If nothing else, just for the hair, baby.